Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to dive into a fascinating piece of news revealed by Intel Guru Frank 26 regarding the recent visit of Iraqi Prime Minister Mohammad Shia al Sudani to Washington. According to Frank 26, the true reason behind Sudanese trip had nothing to do with Iraq's military forces or American military involvement, as reported in the mainstream media. Instead, it was all about the impending monetary reform and banking changes in Iraq. Frank 26, a renowned and respected figure in the Iraqi dinar investment community, has made some intriguing claims about the real purpose of Sudanese visit to the United States. According to Frank 26, the only reason Sudani went to Washington was because of the upcoming monetary reform and banking changes in Iraq, and not because of any matters related to Iraqi forces or American military involvement. Frank 26 argues that the mainstream media's narrative about the visit being focused on Iraq's military and American military forces was simply a cover-up screen to divert attention from the true nature of the discussions. He believes that the primary focus of Sudanese meeting with U.S. officials was to finalize the details of the long-awaited monetary reform and banking system changes in Iraq. The potential implications of these monetary reform and banking changes in Iraq are significant. Frank 26 suggests that this could be a crucial step towards the global revaluation of the Iraqi dinar, a highly anticipated event that has been the subject of much speculation and discussion among dinar investors. If the monetary reform and banking changes are indeed the driving force behind Sudanese visit, it could mean that Iraq is on the verge of a major financial transformation. This could include the introduction of a new, more stable Iraqi dinar, the integration of Iraq's banking system with the global financial network, and the potential revaluation of the dinar's exchange rate. However, it's important to note that Frank 26's claims should be approached with a degree of caution and skepticism. While he has a reputation for providing valuable insights into the Iraqi dinar investment landscape, his statements are not officially confirmed by the Iraqi government or other authoritative sources. It's crucial for investors and the general public to rely on credible, verifiable information from official channels when it comes to matters of such importance. Rumors and unsubstantiated claims, even from respected figures like Frank 26, should be taken with a grain of salt until they are corroborated by official sources. In conclusion, the revelation made by Intel Guru Frank 26 about the real reason behind Sudanese visit to Washington is certainly intriguing and deserves further investigation. If his claims about the focus on monetary reform and banking changes are accurate, it could have significant implications for the future of the Iraqi dinar and the country's financial landscape. However, it's crucial for investors and the general public to approach this information with a critical eye and to rely on credible verified sources when it comes to matters of such importance. As always, it's essential to do one's own research and to make informed decisions when it comes to investing or following financial developments in Iraq. Thank you for tuning in, and stay tuned for more updates.